stop here. This is a abandoned coal mine pond. This is where they drain out of. We always get a lot of calls for these guys because uh, these beavers tend to like to uh, flood out the pipes, kind of like that one right there. So we're here to try to get some of these beavers out. You can see kind of where they're building the small dam down here. We got a few, few beaver traps set in this pond, a few in the pond right above it. Caught here, caught about three here yesterday. So let's go check some of these traps. see our uh, our trap right here we make a little mud pie uh, put a little beaver caster on it so it smells like another beavers in here marking the territory we don't haven't caught anything in that one today but you can see kind of damage these beaver do they'll uh, they'll bring the water level up in all these ponds and these coal companies they're just a real nuisance for them let's go over to this next spot here so here's our next spot on this same pond here You can kind of see where these beavers are have a, a slide coming up through here and they're coming across here and cutting trees down on the other side of this road. So we set a trap down on the bottom there and I don't see it. So let's get down there and check out what's down there. So we're now down to the bottom of the hill. Here's where my trap was. I reset it yesterday. We caught here one, one here yesterday. You put my bag down here. We go over here. We put these uh, oak, old oak stakes here to keep it in its place when we set it. Uh, let's see here. And then we have these T-bar rebar stakes and we, we keep this uh, aircraft cable. And when they, usually these beaver get caught, they go out in there. So, there's our beaver. All right. Ugh. Him up on the bank that's a smaller beaver but they do just as much damage as a big one so let me uh get this thing out of here and i'll get right back to you guys so here's this set we just pulled that beaver out of uh what you can see is i did i put that's called a 330 that's uh the most i guess popular beaver trap and as you can see you can slide kind of where it's dug into the bank here we put something that makes it look like another beaver is marking its territory. Put a little uh, caster base lure on there. Put the trap in front of the slide. I usually like to have them a little deeper down in the water than that. Because it's only only about, about four inches in the water. And when they stick their head in there, um, the trap catches them. And usually kills them pretty quickly. So that's what we try to aim for. Um, here's the smaller beaver we just caught here. I'd say it's probably... Uh, Maybe a 25 pounder. I'm gonna get to the top of this bank and then we got a few more traps up top. On. Let's see uh. A little beaver we just caught last stop. You can see what kind of damage these little guys do. So you can see they kind of clogged up that pipe they got out right out there. And then they built a dam the whole way across here. You can see they're chopping down any trees that are around in the area. And they're even damming out where that pipe can't, comes out at over there. So these guys are really big nuisances. This pond's holding way too much water right now. So these guys gave us a ring. Let's see, right up here a little ways, you'll see the hut. It's probably one of the bigger huts I've ever seen. Uh, looks like a beaver condominium. Pretty fresh stuff. Let's see. So, as you can see right out there, some people, some different states allow you to trap the entrance to the hut. Uh, Kentucky is one of those places, but that's over my chest waders out there. It's probably eight ten feet deep so i'd usually don't set there I'll, I'll set the logging trails around there so what i did was as you can see here 
But ahead of us, there's a nice logging trail that goes up there and up the hill. And they've been cutting on all those trees up top. All the, I think those are beech trees. They've been cutting all those. So it's probably all gonna die now. So I set a trap right down here at the bottom of this. And it looks like we got a small beaver right here. So that's good. There's also a logging trail that shoots up in between here. I set a trap right at the base of that also. Let's see if we got anything there. We have nothing in that trap right there. You can see we do the mud pie and put the trap in front of it. And that's where they go up and down to cut the trees. So let's get this little bugger out of this trap and get into the truck. So the way these traps work are pretty much like big uh, rat traps where it kind of catches them in the back or the head and they have to swim through it. So they have these big springs, you press it down and they have these safety things called safety latches. Put your safety latch on. Next side. And there you go. All the tension's taken out of the trap. We're able to get that beaver out. Just like that. So, there's my mud pie originally. Had some fencing logs. And as you can see, this thing is cabled on this side. So, we will set it. Make sure that maybe roofs freely, just like that. This is your trigger. Make sure those are still stable. Take your safeties off. I always put my trigger down. Like I said, I usually like to set them a little deeper in the water but where this isn't really a pronounced trail in there, it's a little bit more difficult. What we'll do is we'll kind of fence this off a little bit. Make it so the easiest way for him to get to that mud pie is right up through my trap here. that and I don't see my lure stick on there so what I have a little bit of lure that we got from another trapper he makes it for us with really good stuff take a little dollop of that kind of smells like jelly made with the, the scent glands out of the back of the beaver so now the beavers gonna swim past here I think somebody's marking on our territory and swimming right through my trap 